today we're going to be fishing with Dream Chaser Sport Fishing out of Mexico Point, New York on Lake Ontario. This is Captain Mike and his son Mike. I'll leave the uh, link to their website uh, down below. We're going to be running a bunch of different flash or fly combos from Northeast Troller. You'll see some uh, custom painted J-plugs as well. Mike and Mike had been fishing earlier this morning and so they had a pretty decent idea of where the fish were going to be holed up at. It only took us probably 10 minutes or so with the lines in the water before we crossed over what Mike calls a, uh, a wolf pack. Pete was first up on the rod. We had figured this out on the drive down. Uh, the rotation was going to go Pete, Jonathan, and then myself. This fish came on a UV Marv's paddle, and I'm not exactly sure what fly this was, but I can tell you that uh, Sour Goblin, High Viz, and Fish Magnet were pretty hot today. fish on the boat. Uh, we were trolling around for 10 or 15 or so minutes and Captain Mike noticed that there were quite a few fish hanging out in the bottom 10 feet of the water column. Mikey said that sometimes you just have to farm them off the bottom so he rearranged the center rigger. is an 11 inch northeast troller black eyed peas paddle
a uh, Northeast Troller pig pen paddle. And after a full rotation of fish had hit the deck, uh, I felt like the pressure was off. I was a little bit anxious driving down just because you never really know what you're going to get with the weather pattern or how the fish are going to act. And so after everybody had caught a fish, it was all extra from there on out. right about 24 pounds and um, had made the other kings that were already in the box that were respectable by any other measure uh, look a little smaller than, than they originally did. This king was caught on an 11 inch paddle flasher affectionately named the Confused Carlson uh, from Captain Mike of Down and Tight Sport Fishing. Uh, in our next video, we'll have a, a pile of footage from our trip with Captain Mike. for making a, a big mess out of gear and when this fish hit the deck we recognized that uh, a 
line was wrapped all the way around the fish's nose and bottom jaw um, a couple of times. So he was he was lassoed up pretty hard. Um, this is also a good look at the uh, the Oscar J plug um, that took a, a couple of fish for us on this particular trip. Uh, glow body with a, a black nose and tail, and then a black and UV uh, ladder back going down the back of it. This king was also taken on a Mountain Dew pig pen pattern, and it seemed like for the most part, uh, the bite was kind of all over the place as far as what patterns were preferred. I had brought my underwater cameras in case there was one or two particular patterns that were taking the bulk of the fish uh, to see if we could get some, some underwater strike footage, um, but that just wasn't the case this afternoon. some of the other ones that we had seen um, and also came on that Oscar style J plug that the coho was taken on earlier.
after we got Pete's King taken care of, it seemed as though the bite was starting to slow down just a little bit. Uh, we had probably gone 30, 35 minutes without a strike, which was a little bit longer than we were used to seeing that afternoon, considering how uh, how quick the flurry of action was. So we tried some different techniques to bring along that bite, ate some snacks, changed the song on the radio, flipped some coins in the water. And I'm going to show you a very secret technique here. Uh, I probably shouldn't be showing you. This might get taken off of YouTube, uh, but this is a, a tried and true way of passing along some fish mojo. If you spent any amount of time on the Great Lakes, you'll know that conditions change relatively rapidly with, with color. And uh, so we've swapped out a, a handful of different presentations here. The one that's being put out um, is a kind of prototype that became named Christian's Blinky. Uh, it's a, a lighted flasher that's kind of a, a Mountain Dew color on one side with uh, a geoprism silver on the other side. Um, this was actually inspired by my friend Sean, um, whom we call Captain Chaos. According to the video timer, uh, Christian's Blinky had been down for about 5 minutes and 26 seconds before the rod went off, and so that just goes to show you that changing up the color pattern sometimes can help trigger that extra bite.
And with that last King Salmon also coming on the Oscar J-plug, uh, just like a king in Coho before it, that completed our limit for the afternoon, and we were actually starting to lose light relatively quickly, and we needed to get back to the dock so we could clean our fish and uh, get to the grocery store so we could get some snacks for the next day. This was just an incredible afternoon on the water. Uh, Mike and Mike from Dream Chaser Sport Fishing, we can't thank you enough. Um, this was really a dream come true. Uh, guys, go ahead and check out their information in the box below. And if you're at all considering uh, booking a trip on Lake Ontario, we would 100% recommend them.